could not be more wrong. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 tech predictions that turned out to be false. For this list, we're looking at prophecies, guesses, or projections that were made in the tech world that turned out to be painfully, painfully false. We're also taking into account who supposedly made the prediction, because if it's someone who should have known better, it makes the fail that much worse. Number 10. Machine guns will make war impossible, Hiram Maxim. Whether they're pitching a new kitchen utensil or a weapon for the military, inventors will always promote their newfangled gadgets as the be-all and end-all. Take Hiram Maxim, for example. After inventing the first automatic machine gun, he was supposedly asked by British doctor and writer Havelock Ellis whether he thought his Maxim gun would make war more terrible. Maxim replied by saying, machine guns would not only make war less terrible, they would make it impossible. He has unfortunately been proven false on multiple occasions. And Bofors guns are helping to keep the skies clear of enemies all over the world. Number 9. Television won't last, it's a flash in the pan, Mary Somerville. It's natural for people to defend their stream of income and success, and that is what BBC radio broadcaster Mary Somerville did in 1948 when she called the up-and-coming medium of television a flash in the pan, claiming it had never last. By the 1950s, TV was the dominant form of telecommunication. From the scene of action, cameramen televise events which you may see in your own home, if, of course, you have a television receiver. It shaped public attitudes and has since become one of the biggest types of in-house entertainment. It has added a new dimension to the entertainment arts and has intensified television as a social and educational force. With an average of 44 million sold in North America each year, as opposed to radio sales, which were significantly less. One day through television, the entire world will stream into our living rooms with a velocity of light. Number eight. The iPhone won't get any significant market share, Steve Ballmer. Who knows what motivated business mogul Alan Sugar to famously say the iPod would be dead, finished, gone kaput by Christmas 2005. Needless to say, he was wrong. So you'd think others would learn from his mistake and not make such predictions when a piece of hardware like the iPhone went on sale in mid-2007. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. However, former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer said there's no chance that the iPhone is going to get any significant market share. No chance. 51 million units sold in Q4 of 2013 sounds pretty significant to us. It's just the internet on your phone. Number seven, there will never be a bigger plane built a Boeing engineer. A hunk of metal that soars through the air and across coastlines? Surely only a small aircraft can pull that off. At least, that was the conclusion a Boeing engineer came to after the first flight of the Boeing Model 247 in 1933. Touted as the first truly modern airliner, the 247 held just 10 people. Since then, aviation has evolved massively, thanks to the contributions of people like Howard Hughes. Born was the Boeing Model 307 Stratoliner, and it was that ability to pressurize the cabin that created a level of comfort that hadn't yet been experienced on passenger airplanes. Currently, the biggest passenger airliner is the Airbus A380, which can house over 850 people. Number 6. Y2K will bring the end of the world? Various. There are plenty of people who think computers will cause the fall of humanity. But, at the very least, the idea of the Millennium Bug was put to rest the minute the clock struck 12 on January 1st, 2000. As early as the mid-80s, theorists and experts were suggesting that the year 2000 was Judgment Day, at least where machines were concerned. That's when computers would go haywire because their systems couldn't handle a switch from 99 to double zero. A much-hyped countdown to D-Day followed until the ball dropped and nothing happened. Number 5. A rocket will never leave the Earth's atmosphere, the New York Times. The idea of exploring the mysterious abyss that lay beyond planet Earth was still considered by many to be impossible, even in the early 20th century. 
The New York Times, even then a reputable source of news, was one publication that said point blank in 1936 that a rocket will never leave the Earth's atmosphere. That was proven false just over two decades later, when the Russians launched Sputnik. Until two days ago, that sound had never been heard on this Earth. Suddenly, it has become as much a part of 20th century life as the whir of your vacuum cleaner. And then, of course, the Americans put a man on the moon in 1969, blasting that theory two bits. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Number four, X-rays will prove to be a hoax. William Thompson, the Lord Kelvin. Many things in the tech world turn out to be hoaxes, but X-rays, like the ability to conduct heart and brain surgery, weren't one of them. At their inception, X-rays were said to be quite dangerous, but when used correctly, quite unbelievable when it came to medical advancements. But mathematical physicist and engineer William Thompson wasn't convinced, and flat out announced his belief that they were a hoax. However, shortly after, X-ray inventor Wilhelm Röntgen was able to convince the Lord Kelvin of their veracity, and the rest is history. I can cast an X-ray shadow of my hand, which on the developed film looks like this. Number three, the automobile is only a novelty, a fad, the president of the Michigan Savings Bank. Okay, pilot Eddie Rickenbacker's prediction of flying cars by 1944 was way off the mark. But arguably a more realistic automotive prediction was made in 1883 by Ford stockholder Horace Rackham, when he refused to believe the president of the Michigan Savings Bank when he said, the horse is here to stay, but the automobile is only a novelty, a fad. Rackham bought 50 shares in the fledgling company and ultimately became a millionaire when the Ford Motor Company became wildly successful. Talk about unsound financial advice. Number two, 640 kilobytes ought to be enough PC memory for anybody, Bill Gates. Tech guru Bill Gates has never been shy to voice his opinion, but this quote takes the cake. No one will need more than 637 kilobytes of memory for a personal computer. 640 kilobytes ought to be enough for anybody he allegedly said, which, considering things have expanded from kilobytes to megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes, is a huge gaffe. Thing is, Gates has repeatedly denied making the statement. Of course, Digital Equipment Corporation co-founder Ken Olson said in 1977 that there is no reason for any individual to have a computer in his home. So it could have been worse. Internally, we said running Microsoft software, but outside, we always said a computer on every desk in every home. Before we reveal our number one prediction fail in the technology world, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, everything that can be invented has been invented Charles H. Duell. Imagine a world without TV, cell phones, computers, and more. That's the world Charles H. Duell supposedly predicted in 1899 when he said everything that can be invented has been invented. At the time, he was the commissioner of the U.S. Patent Office, so he'd know. However, like the Bill Gates quote, this one has been declared a myth, at least when it comes to who said it. Regardless of who spoke this infamous quote, we hope it makes future skeptics think twice before making such a bold statement. Do you agree with our list? Which technological forecasts do you think were way off the mark? For more head-scratching top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.